Just let me finish emasculating this eye, and I'll be right with you. <laughs> <laughs> I think my biggest problem is being young and beautiful. <laughs> it's my biggest problem because I have never been young and beautiful. I've been beautiful, and Lord knows I've been young, but never the twain have met. <laughs> Not so that anyone would notice anyway. A shrink acquaintance of mine believes this to be the root of my attraction to a class of men most diplomatically described as old and ugly. But I think he's underestimating my wheels. See, an ugly person who goes after a pretty person gets nothing but trouble, but a pretty person who goes after an ugly person gets at least cancer. <laughs> toads when the lights go down. It's either feast or famine. The daylight you gotta watch out for. A thing of beauty is a joy till sunrise. <laughs> now, for me, if I really like a guy, I automatically wait three minutes before him, giving me just enough time to unsucker my pucker, reinstate my quaff, and repose my repose, so his eyes upon waking see only images by Joe thus guaranteeing my breakfast, <laughs> if not his real phone number. <laughs> oh, another hint to all present, presently unattached. Cross any man off your dance card who A, tells you all about his wonderful mother, <laughs> B, tells you all about his wonderful shrinker, or C, refuses to tell you about his wonderful mother or shrinker. <laughs> a guy who's got that kind of intimate is in what I call a state of confession. And uh, you can never be one of those guys than fodder for their conversation. Not that I got anything against analysis. No, I don't. I think it's a great way to keep from boring your friends. <laughs> <laughs> but I was going to put a board is death for the bed, if you get my dress. <laughs> oh, oh. There's another group you got to watch your food stamps around. The hopeless. They break that into three major categories. Married, just in for the weekend, and terminally ill. Those are things of the worst. You go into them with your eyes open, knowing the limitations, and accepting them maturely. Then, wham, bam, you write letters to Dear Abby, and burning black candles at midnight, you say to yourself, what happened? <laughs> you want to know what happened? You got just what you was asking for. A person who thinks they've matured enough to handle an affair that's hopeless from the beginning is the same person who keeps the publishers of gothic romance up to their tragic endings in make. <laughs> so. <laughs> Who's left? Oh. But there are some. I had one once. His name was Charlie. He was tall, handsome, Rich, deaf, <laughs> <laughs> everything you could want is a fair and more. The deafness was the more. <laughs> he never yelled at me. <laughs> All his friends was nice and quiet. <laughs> I even learned some of that sign language. You're like, This means cockroach. <laughs> this, here, look, this. This means fuck. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite. It means I love you. And I did, too. But not enough. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who ain't yet guessed, I I'm an entertainer, or what's left of one. <laughs> I go by the name Virginia Ham. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that a kick in the rubber parts? <laughs> you should hear some of my former handles. Kitty Litter. <laughs> Bertha Venation. <laughs> I ain't got no choice. Try as I may, I just, I, I can't walk in flats. 
<laughs> you know what I want? The international stud. Not the bar. The man. I want a stud. The guy knows what he wants and ain't scared to go out good at it. The guy who satisfies his every need and don't care if you get what you want in the bargain. Matter of fact, he aims to please. He, he's happy being what you want him to be because you're happy being what he wants you to be. More you put in, more you get out. An honest man. The international stuff. One size fits all. <laughs> now, I wouldn't want no guy who wants to be like this here. No. I need it for the rest of the time. For the other part of me, part that's not so well protected. Oh, there's plenty of women like this. And I take their admiration gratefully. But at a distance. A drag queen is like an oil painting. You, you, you gotta stand back from it. <laughs> <laughs>
never been in the back room. You, uh, you, you here alone? Well, lucky for me. You live alone? Well, look, I, uh, I, I have a car. Yeah, I mean, I ask you back to my place, but I have a roommate. Straight. Yeah, he's got a thing about gays. No, it's his place. I sublet. Oh, I, I date women, too. I really live upstate. I own a farm about an hour south of Montreal. That's my real home. Yeah, I spend most of the weekends there and then all of the summer vacation. You'll love the house. I don't know, it's one of those old uh, Victorian farmhouses, lots of uh, gingerbread and Franklin stoves. My father's helping me restore it. No, 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 they winter in Florida and then they come north to spend the warmer months with me. Yeah, hey, let's say we uh, continue this conversation in the car. By the way, what do you do? No. Oh, I, I meant for a living. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can really make a living doing that? Oh, I gotta admit, you're my first. Has anyone ever told you you have a very sexy voice? Hey, you really do. Is it natural or do you have a cold? <laughs> Maybe. 
Hey, think of all the money I saved you on your phone bill. <laughs> You're impossible, you know that? Yeah, so what do you put up with me? So, how was your trip? <coughs> my trip? Oh, my trip. <laughs> <laughs> Casual dating. 
are. Don't you think you're being unfair to her? Not to mention what you're doing to me. Don't you think she deserves to know what she's getting herself into? What's the matter? Catch your tongue in a closet door? <laughs> Sharp wit, 
glowing personality. The mummy. What if I don't glow in the door? <laughs> <laughs>
So let's go home. At least I don't have to cook a breakfast. <laughs> So how you been? Oh, we skip with the nice things and get right to the meat. It is, it's just not the kind of thing you blurt right out. So how are the folks? <laughs> Great. Yeah, my father had a little trouble with an ear infection, but it cleared up nicely. <laughs> <laughs> Head back south for winter? Ah, two days ago. Two? What took you so long? <laughs> what? And forget it. It's over. You're not coming back. I, I don't want to come back. Really? No, things are going fine with Laurel. Yeah, we spent a really fantastic summer upstate with my folks. Even used her place in Florida for a week. Man, yeah, at first things were a little strange. She'd hang around me all the time, wanting us to do everything together. But I talked to her. In yeah, mid-August, my sister came up with her two kids, and Laurel was great with them. Actually, it was a marvelous experience for both of us. Almost like having a family of our own. It sounds wonderful. Ah, the fields. Ah, tending to the youngest. <laughs> <laughs> and my grandpa swinging on the floor. It was nice. Good summer. I thought about it.